Good afternoon, Year 2. Welcome to your final lesson of the day. We are carrying on looking at maps for geography and, more importantly, what features we need to include in our maps. Okay, so that's what we're looking at today. So it's all about constructing and making our own map and what features we need to include in that. So, as always with our afternoon lessons, we start by looking back at our previous learning. So, in here, what does the blue blob mean on the map? This little blue blob, what does it mean? From last week again, what would you draw to represent a hospital on a map? No, this last week, what would you draw to draw, represent a hospital? From last term, what happens in winter in London? What's the weather like? And then what would we see on a map of Reading? So what is there in Reading? What would you see on a map? Okay. Remember, you should be writing these down and then you can send them in to you to the farmacademy.com. Right. When drawing maps, there are things we need to remember to include. So map title because if we don't know what the map's for, it's meaningless to us. The title tells us what the map is of. Symbols. Symbols are to represent the different things on the map. Because if you don't have, if you try and draw the actual thing, it's too detailed, it's too small, it doesn't work. So we just use a simple symbol to represent it. A key. Keys are really important, so we know what those simple symbols mean. Okay, you must know what those symbols mean. And then key features. So the important things that the map needs to show. Okay, because if you have a map that doesn't tell me that there's a big lake in the middle of the trees, then I'm going to be annoyed when I walk into that lake. All right. So this is a map of Ireland. There's four. Um, things to check off our checklist. Can you spot them? Okay, so map title up here, transport map of Ireland. Yep, lovely. I know what it's about. It's about how to get around Ireland. Symbols. Yep, I can see symbols here all over the place. Okay, a key. Yes, I've got a key up here. So those symbols tell me what they're for. Key features. Yes, so I can see the motor, motorway and the railway lines, see those key features that make up the country, okay? So that has all the items on the checklist. But now it is your turn. We are going to be making our own maps. So here is the map of the Palmer Academy. What can you see on the map, okay? So if you're... We're looking at from the direction where over here is Basingstoke Road and over here is Northumberland Avenue. Okay, so what, what do you see on this map? Pause the video, write down all the things you can see. Maybe you can spot a road you live on or a road you know someone, one of your friends lives on. Okay. So you are going to create your own version of this map, all right? So it needs all those things from the checklist. It needs a title, it needs symbols, it needs key features, and it needs a key, okay? For specific things, okay? So the template for this map will be in Teams under the geography section. You need to decide what symbols you will use to show houses and train stations or whatever you, you're including. You need to put them on the map and use a key to uh, show what those symbols are representing. And then draw your roads and then color it in to make it look more interesting than just black and white. All right, so those are your steps. Good luck, have some fun with it. And then uh, you can send it into you to the Palmer Academy .com, Okay. Just
just to remind you of those four main things in your checklist. This is what your template will look like. All right. Thank you, everyone. You have mysteries for the rest of the week. I'll see you next week. Bye.